In this video, we'll learn the basics to how our body regulates temperature. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, your go-to channel for short, easy to understand videos about the common medical topics that matter to you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, get involved in the comments, and check out the description below for links and resources. Let's get started. Maintaining certain factors in our body, such as temperature, within a normal range is part of a process called homeostasis. Our body maintains a very narrow range for its core temperature approximately between 36.5 to 37.5 degrees Celsius, or 97.7 to 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature differs from person to person and can be affected by several factors, such as age, health status, and level of consciousness. If we become too hot or too cold, our body uses various mechanisms to lose or generate heat to bring us back to our normal temperature. In this video, we'll cover some of the mechanisms our body uses, then at the end, I'll explain how this connects to future videos. Cold temperatures activate our cells in a special type of fat called brown fat, which causes them to increase their metabolism and energy use to produce heat. This mechanism is mostly used by babies, but adults do have a small amount of brown fat. Next, our thyroid, which is right here on our neck, releases thyroid hormone, which triggers our cells to increase their metabolism and energy consumption, similar to the activated brown fat cells, thereby producing heat. Finally, the most effective mechanism is shivering. Our skeletal muscles, such as in our arms and legs, receive a signal from our brain to contract and relax very quickly, which generates a lot of heat. This is why our teeth chatter when we're cold, our jaw muscles are contracting and relaxing to help produce heat. The first mechanism is by increasing blood flow to the blood vessels that are near the surface of our skin. The heat can then leave our blood and travel through our skin and out of our body. This process is called radiation. And then with the process of convection and airflow around us, the heat is dispersed. The second mechanism is sweating. When we sweat, some of that liquid on our skin evaporates and releases the heat. The remaining sweat on our skin is now a lower temperature and helps to cool our body. Now that we know how our body regulates heat, we can apply this knowledge to other situations. For example, in the next video, we'll learn how this relates to fevers and why we shiver and sweat when we have one. This also helps explain some of the symptoms of hyper and hypothyroidism. And finally, we can use this to learn some first aid to treat someone with either hypothermia or heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Stay tuned for these upcoming videos. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.